one particular journalist that uh, I was in contact with for months uh, was murdered uh, a few months after my fieldwork trip. Um, that had a tremendous uh, impact uh, and actually um, it was, I think, the moment where I decided that I should, um, uh, I should choose to write specifically about why and how certain communicators are repressed. I was investigating uh, repression at the time when I was still a PhD candidate. Uh, and of course I was familiar with really uh, horrible stories of all these journalists who, um, who experienced repression and also other types of actors, sometimes political insiders, uh, activists, um, you name it. People that were communicating in one way or the other about the wrongdoings of these regimes and were repressed as a result. But uh, there were horrible stories ranging from receiving little pain pricks um, uh, time and time again to being murdered. We have limited resources so we need to be selective and we need to look for opportunities where actually we think we can make a difference. Um, and I think this, in, this research that I, that, that I did also shows that um, those places where there are actually opportunities are often hybrid regimes, so regimes that mix political and authoritarian elements. During my current work, um, we investigate and reinvigorate cold cases of journalist murders. We speak a lot with relatives of murder journalists, which is sometimes painful, of course. Um, when we try to reopen an investigation, it usually means that relatives um, re-experience a part of the trauma. Uh, sometimes that's a, um, that's, that's a very rational decision. They're very aware of the fact that they will go through that experience. Um, it's rewarding at the same time because um, reinvigorating these cases um, means that there is a better uh, chance of, of, for ju of justice for them. It, it also empowers them. Um, it gives them an opportunity to fight once again for justice uh, for their loved ones. So uh, yeah, that, that is very rewarding. And sometimes these stories um, can, of course, get to your hat. That's very true. So Free Press Unlimited is a press freedom organization based in Amsterdam and that, that works globally. Um, it promotes press freedom in a variety of, of ways uh, by contributing to the viability of, of independent media, um, by uh, making sure that journalists uh, enjoy a certain level of safety. So for example, reacting to certain events such as uh, recent events in Ukraine and Afghanistan where journalists were in, in need of, of safety measures. Um, and it also works on prosecution, and that's, that's where uh, the, the field I work in. A Safer World for the Truth is a project that, that uh, works on the prosecution of actors that engage in the repression of journalists.